This book is about a young panda who visits his grandmother and grandfather. You will personalize who the panda visits. It might be two people, like Grandma and Grandpa, or Nana and Gramps, or a single person, like Grandma or Aunt Edith, Uncle Jack, or Grandpa Bill. You will also name the panda, the same name as the special child in your life. It's so much fun to read a book when your name is all the way through it. Let's look at a sample of a book. We will use Marshall as the panda and he will visit Grandma and Grandpa. The first page of the book says who the book is from. You have a few choices. You can leave it blank and write whatever you want when the book arrives. Or you can say from or with love. You can specify a customized message or you can include a photo. Whatever you decide, each time your child reads the book, they will think of you. On the next page, Marshall receives a letter from Grandma and Grandpa introducing the book and letting him know that when he visits, they might do many of the things that are in the book. The letter is also customized for the choices that you make. Marshall packs his bags and leaves his friends behind, promising to tell them all about his adventures when he returns, and off he goes. Grandma and Grandpa are excited to see him arrive. They give him a big hug and tell him they have many fun things planned for his visit. They will go to the beach and collect shells. And after a day at the beach, they will get ice cream. They can go to the water park and play putt-putt golf. They can walk or ride bikes around the trails at the house. They can also ride in a golf cart. They might take a spin on a boat on the intracoastal waterway or fish off the dock. They may even hike the Green Swamp Preserve and look for Venus flytraps. If there's a free day, a trip to Myrtle Beach might be fun. Another outing is the Ingram Planetarium. And of course, there will be some time where they just relax in the pool. Grandma has a recipe for marshmallow pops and Marshall gets to help make them. They can read stories and play games. And on a sunny day, they might take the ferry to the Fort Fisher Aquarium and see Luna, the albino alligator. One day, Marshall will make chalk drawings on the driveway and then lay down and pretend to be a part of the picture. Grandma will take photos and keep them forever. They will tell Marshall about the times when they were his age and Marshall will tell them stories about his friends. The days will go by so quickly, and soon it will be time to say goodbye. But Grandma and Grandpa will make plans to see him again soon. When Marshall gets home, he rushes out to see his friends, and, as promised, he tells them all about his adventures visiting Grandma and Grandpa. The last page of the book is a page where Marshall can write all the things that he did when he came to visit Grandma and Grandpa.